Good evening and welcome to the John Report. I'm John. Here's my report. Tuesday's four-car accident on Aurora Avenue has been linked to the election. It seems that overly excited campaigners who hope to gain last-minute support for their candidates waved signs, threw rocks, and shot out windshields and tires. <laughs> A recent archaeological discovery proves that ancient people drank beer as many as 5,000 years ago. Scientists say the key finding was an ancient skiing poster featuring the Neanderthal bikini team. <laughs> In recent weeks, Seattle area gangs have been ripping off businesses by using near-perfect counterfeit credit cards. Police say the only flaw in the fake cards is that under the expiration date it says when we're done stealing all the crap we want <laughs> there I'm okay a study shows that in the year 2020 traffic in the Seattle area sh could increase by 78 percent the same study said that in the year 2525 was a stupid song that went on way too long <laughs> The Seattle Sonics opened their season on Friday with two games in Japan. When asked why they decided to open their season in Japan, Coach George Carl replied, They're short. I think we can beat them. <laughs> the King County Library has received 30 requests so far for Madonna's sex book. All but four of them came from Reese Lindquist. <laughs> A personal skills work... A personal skills workshop called Tools for Change will be held in Bellevue next week. Workshop counselors hope things go smoother than last year when several Monroe residents showed up looking for cheap hammers and drills. <laughs> well, wine Spectator magazine says Eastern Washington is the nation's hottest wine region. A similar honor was given to the Pioneer Square District by the editors of Fortified Wines. <laughs> Finally, Booth Gardner says he wants to be named ambassador to Japan when his term of, as governor is over. When asked why he chose Japan, Gardner replied, they're short, I think I can beat them. <laughs> this has been the John Report. Thank you.